If you hunt from a box blind, here are some tips that will help you be more successful. All right, you hop in the blind, and the first thing I want to point out is the rifle is unloaded. Gun safety is paramount. Never have your rifle loaded until you're ready to hunt. We're not ready to hunt yet. If you're a right-handed shooter, make sure and sit on the right-hand side of the blind. Left-handed shooters, always place them on the left side of the blind. What I recommend you doing, always store the rifle in the corner with the muzzle up to prevent any dirt from getting in the muzzle. Get your windows set. Once your windows are set, I'll show you the reason why you want to have your right-handed shooter on the right side of the blind or the left-handed shooter on the left-hand side of the blind. The right-handed shooter puts his rifle out and he has a dead rest because his elbow is up on the other window, which allows you to form a triangle and have a much more steady rest. If a left-handed shooter is on the right-hand side of the blind and he goes to shoot, can you see my elbow is up in the air? And although I could probably make a shot, I don't have near as steady of a shot. Okay, here's something else too. Always make sure when you go to the blind in the dark that you know where your blind is. That way you can get in and out without making a lot of noise. In low light conditions, if you're shooting a variable power scope, you always want to make sure and have your power of the scope down low. That'll give you more light gathering capability. As it gets brighter during the morning, you can turn your power up. But start with the power low, you're going to be able to see a whole lot better. Now, once you load your rifle, always make sure and put it on safety. It amazes me how many hunters I've hunted with through the years that don't believe they need to put it on safety when they get in the blind because they're, they're not going to have an accident. They're safe. Uh, I say horse hockey. Always load your rifle, point it in the safe direction, and put the safety on. All right, I'm going to show you one thing I've noticed a lot of hunters wind up doing when they get in a stand and they take a shot. They will rest their barrel on the window like this, okay, to take the shot. That is not what you want to do. Always rest your rifle like this on the stock. That way your rifle is going to shoot more accurately. One thing I failed to mention is that when you get in the stand, you want to make sure that you're hunting out of a chair that's the right height for you. If the chair is not the right height, get one that is. Uh, if you're already in a stand and say you're too low to shoot, that, uh, and this oftentimes happens with kids or with, with shorter adults, what I tell people to do is stand up and cross your legs up underneath you and then sit back down like this. It'll raise you up five or six inches to allow you a little bit better opportunity to shoot out the window well. When you get in your blind, always know your limitations. Know the area that you can take a nice shot at. Know your distance and know what your firearm is doing at that distance and shoot at a distance that you feel very confident in making the shot. Once a shot is made, what I encourage people to do is always pay attention to exactly the spot the deer was standing in and exactly where he runs. Many times, depending upon where you hit the animal, there may not be much blood and it will be imperative to be able to understand where that deer was standing and where that deer took off that will enable you to find the blood trail and be able to find your animal. I hope you found some of these tips helpful. I'd like to ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and list them below and we will get back with you. And good luck the next time you head to the field.